but uh, uh, today we tried to do it with uh, google meet but it was not possible with the help of balki sourcer and uh, then we tried to do with uh, online streaming of youtube but still due to rain uh, he was facing lot of internet issues so uh, i am doing this session behalf of uh, balki sourcer uh, from ahmedabad and myself my name is dhruv saidwa and uh, i'll be doing this session on arduino controller today so welcome you all uh, this uh, zero to maker series uh, of session has been uh, an initiative under tiktok and under tiktok foundation we are going to do this kind of multiple sessions which will uh, help you to clear your doubts uh, this is particular approach when you want to be a innovator or an entrepreneur in future uh we actually work on a framework based uh, designed by rajesh nayar and uh, in that framework it has been said if you start making things slowly you start identifying problems and solving those problems and in future with the help of same problem you can actually uh, uh make some product and solve uh, some big problems and get income from it so this is zero to entrepreneurship framework under that framework we have designed this set of ppts which you will be using for the learning so yes what we are going to cover today today we are going to cover basically all about arduino so what is arduino how it has been used and what are the different versions of arduino and uh, we will also get to know about how to start with the next session will give you the entire example about the project but today we will basically know how you can start with at your home okay so the first step we will learn more about arduino uno in second step we will learn about how we will be doing breadboard wiring then we will know how the coding has been done into that software then how to download the software from the website and install it how that particular environment is been used so basically ide and how you will be seeing the first program uh, to be used in that particular uh, controller now uh, getting ahead with uh, what is arduino uno so you can see uh, arduino uno is a very simple uh, circuit based uh, design in which you can see a usb and all type of structure but it is the one of the most used board in learning electronics so in across the world this is one of the chip which has been mounted on a circuit board with the other pins which you can use to develop some electronic project so whenever you are making some uh, small projects you can use this to add intelligence in that so help of this board you can uh, actually sense something and do some action and the board will provide you the logic so that is what the arduino is it has a very big family of boards which we will be covering at end of the ppt so this is the first uh, uh, like top view of the board which you will able to see so you can see the first there are digital pins so this particular digital pins P, uh, basically uh, known as pwm okay and uh, digital pins so from here to here the small dashes over here those are the pwm pins and the rest all are digital pins then in the, here you can see the usb port from where you will be uploading your program then you can see here is the power input so whenever you want to use this board on a robotics or something and and you need to power that particular board you will be using this pin where you can plug in your uh, power adapter and the board will run then this is the power pins from where you can draw the power for 5 volt 3.3 volt and ground then here is the analog pins so there are two type of pins analog and digital where you will be basically sensing the sensors or giving the commands so these are the five uh, six analog pins and the main part of the board which actually have all the things this is atmel pin so this particular atmel chip which will be mounted on the board and that will be basically storing all the logic and everything inside it so the designer has actually made that atmel chip connected with all peripheral pins and usb port so you can easily load the program and use it now as we said we need a software for this particular uh, thing so we will go ahead in that 
तो हाउ वी बेसिकली रन अ प्रोग्राम सो इन द प्रोग्राम वी बेसिकली हैव सिंपल सेट्स सो द लॉजिक वर्क विद वी हैव टू डिक्लेयर द पिन्स सो विच पिन वी आर यूजिंग देन दैट पर्टिकुलर पिन फॉर वट पर्पज वी आर यूजिंग इनपुट और आउटपुट then according to the purpose we have to develop a logic with the logic basically says about different loop where the program will be executed uh, different setups where the program will be executed one time one time in this particular logic you will be basically using all the uh, assembly language coding which is very similar to c programming and you will be using ide for running this particular program so let's go forward and check how to use that ide now before going that we also need to learn about the basic elements which will be connected to this arduino uh, uh, project so one of the important uh, element which we will be using is breadboard so on breadboard you can see there are multiple pins which will be used used for making connection so whenever you will be mounting some of the uh, project onto the board you also need to connect those wires so it is not feasible to twist the wire every time so here we have this particularly design where you can see all horizontal lines are connected and all vertical lines are connected on the half way so uh, we will see a video which is explaining the same concept and we will go forward the meter puts out a beep saying okay these these are electrically connected they're shorted together so if we look on this breadboard here real quick we will see on the plus we'll check the plus out put that in there that these are all connected down this column here. We can even go to the other end. As long as we stay in that column. But this column here is not connected. Only this long row here, a long column. There's nothing else on this board connected to that column. Same goes for if we go so uh, this is how you can actually understand how particularly breadboard is connected from one point to other point so whenever we want to connect some of the pins we actually plug that particular part on the breadboard and we use it now let's go how we are going to download uh, arduino so here you can see i will show you one time the website also so here you can see we have the website called www.arduino.cc so we will go to arduino.cc and we will see from where we can download this particular program so in this website you have this particular option called software under software you can actually click on downloads under download you will have this particular way where you can get different version of arduino software according to your operating system so here you can see we have windows windows zip windows app so you can install any of this if you are using windows i will uh, basically prefer windows installer which is much easier then we have mac os for people using macbook then these are the version for linux which, which are using ubuntu or all other uh, op uh, open source uh, os so you can download your particular arduino from here it basically differ from 180 mb so you can have different uh, like from 180 mb to sometime uh, like 120 mb depend on the version which you are using so once you download this i'll just show you how to download so it is much easier because it will ask for one more uh, screen so i'm just click on this and it will ask for this here it will ask for donation but you can just say just download over here and as soon as you click the download will start over here so you can see this version is basically 112 mb okay so this is how you can download arduino getting back after you install after you uh, get the, the arduino you can actually uh, install it and installation is as simple as you all know that next next and all the different uh, cust uh, customize custom selection 
and once it is installed your screen of Arduino will look something like this. So this particular thing is called integrated development environment. So Arduino IDE with the help of this particular uh, uh, screen a software we will be actually loading our logic into Arduino. So this is one of the most important part whenever you are working with Arduino because all the code or whatever you want to load in that particular hardware you require this software okay then let's go a little forward so in this particular uh, software there will be different uh, icons which we will be basically using so uh, this is compiler where you can check whether the code is correct or not then next is upload where you can click and upload the program into the board then this this one is to click on it and open a new page and the this is for opening the uh, already having project and this is for saving things so these are the few icons and this is much easier to use if you start with some simple thing and there will be some other option also which we will be discussing little later so this is the entire screen which we were talking about so here you can see uh, to upload we have we were using this button this is the tool so under the tool you will be selecting the board there are multiple boards which I am going to explain little later in this session but whenever you are using the board you have to use the board over here and this is particular the example now sometime you will be using serial monitor to read the uh, readings whatever sensor is sharing with you and all so the, here is the serial monitor option where you can click and read the readings. Here is the uh, here in this bar whenever you are uploading you can see done uploading over here. So whenever you are going to upload a particular program the status will be shared over here and this will be the anything if error and everything then you will see in this black particular black area. So we, we will be basically checking the first code to see whether our board is working or not. So here you can see the first code is actually inside the Arduino ID environment itself. You don't need to download anything. There are a lot of codes which is pre built inside the Arduino IDE. Here you can go into file. Under file select example. Under example select basics and under that you will get a blink. Now we will see the same thing next. So you can see here go in the file. Under file you have to go in example, under example you have to see basics and under basics you have to click on blink. So as soon as you click on blink you will get a program something like this which is pre-built. You don't need to download it. So in this program there are two basic part. I will just explain you the basics thing which you need to know. So the first part is void setup where you define the pins where as I told before. And the second is void loop where you give the function how it will work. So in this particular thing this all which is under red box red box I have added but whatever is after slashes this is called comment. It is just for explanation purpose it is not a part of program. So this is the simple uh, program the one of the simplest program in Arduino which actually blink LED one by one. So uh, yeah, uh, it is like single LED function where it will make this on for a second and off for a second. So that we will know little later but this is the basic programming which you need to learn when you start with Arduino. So whenever you will be using this particular program there is a onboard LED. So this you can see L return there. So that LED will blink. That LED is actually connected to pin number 13. So you can use that particular LED to see whether your board is functioning properly or not. So the first thing is you have to upload this particular program to the board and you have to check whether this LED is working per perfectly or not. So this is how your first step of entire Arduino is covered. So this is the much primary knowledge which you are going through right now but we will be actually sharing you the uh, projects and everything one by one as we go in the session. So in the first session we actually wanted to explain about what is basic Arduino, how it is used and how you can actually start with.
So you need to first download the uh, Arduino pro uh, IDE and install in your computer. You need to have this Arduino with you to practice with it. And uh, as we said, the first command you will check whether to see your Arduino is working or not, which is blink LED. Now, these are few of the examples which we will be doing in the next session. And in the next session, we will be using Arduino to just we need Arduino. We don't need any jumper wire or anything to learn this. OK, uh, if we want to learn uh, series and parallel, then we need jumper wire and breadboard. But we can make some patterns and everything and learn that. So here you can see we will learn delay. We will learn serial uh, series connection and parallel connection. We will learn different patterns making with Arduino. So that was all about things and I will show you how to uh, do the entire set, uh, setup and go forward with the Arduino. So we have actually downloaded our Arduino version over here. I'm just showing you I will not install the entire Arduino again because I already have one Arduino in this particular laptop. So when you click on it, it will ask for your uh, uh, permission. When you click on yes, it will start installing it. So it is already showing, so I'm just cancelling it and I'll show you my pre-installed Arduino in my particular laptop. So this is my installed Arduino. So in this as I said, you have to go in file, example, basics and blink and you can check the command. This is for compiling the code. When you compile, it will show you that uh, this particular uh, code is correct or not. Okay, so you can see done compiling. So this code is correct. Now you need to go to tools. You need to go and select your board. So there are this many types of board. Uh, so I will show you the boards of different category, but we are basically using Uno. So we have selected Uno. Then here when you connect your Arduino. Okay, so it will show the port. Just give me a minute. I will get the Arduino and show you. connect this particular Arduino with this and as soon as I connect Arduino it will show a particular board there so I connected my Arduino now I am just clicking it again so you can see it will show that Arduino Genuino Uno so I have connected Uno with my board and I have to click so as soon as I click this particular thing file example basic blink okay now this is particular the example now i can click on upload you can see the status of the project uploading is over here